And here come human powered health now through to the front and that is why so that long shot there that we had just gives us a better idea now of uh, where Olga Zabalinskaya is and Daria Pikalik's team have come through to the front now that they can all see her um, then the motivation now stoke level is high you would say <laughs> as we come in towards the finish but you've got to say what a mighty ride by Lara Asensio I mean we, she's a rider that uh, in her career um, the French rider that's been within that Sarah Tizit WNT team for years and that is the sort of that there's not the sort of ride that we get to see very often because Laura is one of those riders that will do a lot of work early on in the day before we come on air but that that kind of shows why she's been a pro for as long as she has yeah she has but she's also in the recent week she's been coming into some really good forms she had some really good performances um in the recent italian races so yeah she's obviously got some good legs on her at the moment and uh, putting those to good use and trying to bring back our lone leader at the moment yeah so they've got to really get this under control now and uh, human powered health um with barbara malcotti uh, Marit Rymack as Marjolein uh, Wandkeluf, Eri Yonamine and Daria Pikalik, who's their uh, Polish sprinter who won that stage of tour down under early on in the season. She's been steadily taking wins throughout the year as the human powered health rider. And as Danny Christmas said, she's been picking up bonus seconds throughout the intermediate sprints today. The danger here so close to the finish is that they think, right, we've got her. And then they start looking back and starting to organize the lead-ups. They got to ride right through this one at the moment yeah they have and when we looked at yesterday's uh, breakaway it was caught with around 20 kilometers to go which was really a bit too early for for the catch to be made and we just saw a kind of drag race for around 20 kilometers where a number of teams just burnt all of their matches way too early and it was teams such as Jaco Alula that really uh, for me they really played it well yesterday just kind of hang out at the back because it was really wide roads like we have today but kind of even wider almost three four lanes for most of the day so they just saved their energy and with around two kilometers to go they just all came to the front all five riders in the team came with so much speed and it was a really good good performance from the Jaco Alula squad yesterday obviously finishing it off in second place with uh, Georgia Baker there but see if they're gonna play a, uh, a similar tactic today we haven't seen them up towards the front too much in the shots that we have received on the wide roads there's your lone leader that angle camera uh, angle does foreshorten the gap uh, slightly so they really have to um, ride this breakaway down now the gap they have it in their sights and the sprinters that we have uh, in action today uh, Jaco Alula as you said just hanging back um, we can see them there all the numbers in the 50s there's Jess Allen wearing 55 late rush do you think from Jaco Alula again yeah I think they'll probably try the, the similar tactic uh, that they did yesterday and you know, if you if your whole team is uh, down towards the back, then um, you know when you've got riders up at the front that are doing the pulling, and you kind of put one from every team that's up towards there. If none of your teammates are within sight for a little while, it can be kind of out of sight, out of mind until um, someone will probably come down the back and tell you uh, to get a move on and, and get a rider to to put in to try and pull. But this gap is certainly coming down now. Yeah, the gap is. And if you're watching out for Chiara Consoni today, she's in the green jersey. She's wearing number 11 for UAE, ADQ, the Italian. And the bunch all across the road, UAE, ADQ, just swing out around the line. Here come uh, Israel uh, Premier Tech. So up there yesterday. Maggie Coles Lister in 10th uh, spot. Look how wide the bunch is. They've got nearly the whole bunch. It's like two deep at the moment. Here come Jaco Alula in the white blue. And uh, I think we call it pomegranate pink is the Jaco Alula colors. And Zaubelin Sky is going to get caught in sight of the finish. And Nina Atosalo is uh, up towards the front. The green jersey. 
of uh, Chiara Consoni right there. Here come Jake Alula. The charge from Jake Alula. Little tap there. Georgia Baker wants to find her way out. Here come Human Powered Health just down the left. Where is our yellow jersey of Mylena Dezuta? The catch is made right in sight of the finish. Georgia Baker getting brought through here by Nina Kessler. And Mylena Dezuta coming round on the outside. Look at the timing here from the yellow jersey. Dezuta has got the lead out riders right in front of her now uh, as they try and uh, lead out this uh, sprint for Danza moving up alongside that yellow jersey Baker Consoni just a little bit further back here at the moment the sprint about to launch Dezuta here comes Consoni in that green jersey. You can see the road just rising very, very slightly. Have UAE ADQ timed this one perfectly. Dezuta on the front quite early here. As the yellow jersey comes through, or is she going to lead out for Fidanza? Zazuta leading out for Danza, about to come off the wheel. Here comes Martina Fidanza. Consoni right on the wheel. Consoni looking to launch it. They're into the barriers now. Up on the outside, it's our leading star team as Fidanza launches the move down the left-hand side of the road and it's a win for the leading star team. Getting a big lead out there into the finish and we'll confirm who that is as soon as, uh, as we get it. We think it's Hannah Serak that might have taken it on the line. Coming through and it is, what a win by Hannah Serak.